Welcome everyone, um, hello, hope you're having a good evening or a good day or a good morning. Today we have a special stream, I would even say a very special stream and I won't be alone, I will do it with another person. I will have a stream with Linda, one second, one second, one second, here it is, uh, Linda, hello, hello everyone. <laughs> I think all of you know Linda, or almost all of you. I will stream today with her and I am very, very happy about it. Linda is my beloved moderator who helps me a lot, not only with Twitch, but also with YouTube channel. And I am th very thankful to you for that. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> uh, people... Oh, and the penguin! <laughs> get in frame <laughs> yeah yeah uh, people usually know you as burn all and the one who is always that typing a lot in the chat but uh, not so many of them saw you in real life so mm -hmm. now now with your words you have the chance to see linda and the way she looks like uh and what we will do today we will play hand and brain <laughs> uh, linda please um Say a few words about yourself because maybe not so many people knew. I mean, um, we know you started playing chess only last year. Uh, uh, your chess experience is as long as my streaming experience, perhaps. Yeah, I, I think it's like maybe slightly longer, but yes, approximately. <laughs> Yeah, approximately. And I think you made a huge progress over this time, so I'm very glad about it. Oh, Burley, the name of my penguin is osmosis. It's a, it's a word in biology. You know, when water diffuses through like a semi-permeable membrane. Um, I'm from New Zealand and Australia, and I'm currently living in the US. So I'm, I am still working as a software engineer, but I'm leaving my job in two days, so. <laughs> That will very quickly become like ex software engineer. <laughs> but you're starting to study, so you have the reason for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm studying a master's degree in computer science and I'll focus on machine learning and artificial intelligence. Very close to chess. <laughs> we use it a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll I'll build an engine. <laughs> oh. So something much better than uh, Alpha Zero or... <laughs> it can be my master's thesis. I think we need some first victims. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to make it uh, exciting, we decided that Linda will start first. So she will be the hand and I will be the brand. Uh, the brain. <laughs> the brand. <laughs> we will try to accept challenges uh, up to 1500. Because uh, Linda's rating is... Uh, how, how, how much rating you are now? Um, for for, for Blitz, it's 1400 something. Yeah, 1400. So we want to, to make it competitive and be interesting for both sides. Because actually when you get the help from the brain, it can be... Sometimes it can be good, but sometimes it can be very confusing. So, so it can be not so easy for Linda for the first time. But let's see, let's see. Okay, we are black. E4, yeah. pawn. Okay. Oh, what a surprise in the move, I would say. <laughs> Knight. I hate this opening, it's terrible. <laughs> no, you don't like it? Let's play some other opening. <laughs> On the next game. <laughs> Okay. Knight. People play this so much. Knight c3, I mean. Uh, okay, for Angel and Glamdring, uh, sometimes you see the elevation uh, that is actually fluctuating a lot. It's because um, the engine needs some time to adapt. So sometimes it's like going very down or very up, uh, but you have to wait a few seconds uh, to understand uh, what's actually the real relation. Uh, so it's our move, knight. Knight? Um... Uh, 
Alex, you shouldn't put the word stupid and Scandi like in the same sentence. They don't belong <laughs> together. Bishop. Right, it's so nice when Linda, uh, when Lizzie is doing uh, some streams with Alex, you are uh, spying, and now when I am doing a stream with you, Alex is here. <laughs> Alex is here immediately, <laughs> Queen. <laughs> wow, why is there so much, so much negativity in the chat? You're all going to get banned at this rate. <laughs> Oh, where are you seeing this negativity? So, um, <laughs> don't some comment it. about it's about like oh, Mo the King. You have no time for the chat. I'll uh, take <laughs> care of the chat. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you'll manage it. Um, I'll try. Uh, fine, Mo. Pawn? You sure you want to use the queen? No, you don't want to use the queen, you want to use the pawn. Okay. Um. I have some idea. Mm hmm. Okay, I think this is fine. Good, that's what I meant. Angel, uh, or fur by, uh, I think that Linda should play the openings she likes. And it's like, I mean, if there is some opening you like and it goes well for you, there is no need to change it. Of course, when you get some problems, then uh, you should switch. But as long as it goes fine, then, then it's logical to keep on playing the same opening. Yeah, Scandi is just going so fine right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we should... Mm, do you want to take? <laughs> uh, I want to checkmate in three. You want to checkmate in three? <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Okay, in uh, one, in four. Okay, it doesn't mean you have to look for the checkmate in four because it doesn't exist. Oh, okay. But there is the line where we can actually do it. So, mm. with the help mm. of white. Mm. Well, just play a normal move. I mean, I'm a bit confusing. <laughs> yeah, I just take it. Uh, I didn't mean that. I thought we go something like bishop h5, so we keep this uh, the bishop on this diagonal, and then if white yeah. takes the pawn, then we take the queen, white takes, we take with the knight, and then if the knight takes, we checkmate with the rook on d1. Uh, I follow in the stream, I'm not sure. <laughs> we do not follow what you just said. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, it's the new position, so we move the pawn. Okay. Broccoli, it's not starting. It's not starting. I, I haven't had this position. Uh, Rooks thanks for a free temple pawn. <laughs> um, oh, what to do, Bishop? Um, if I only one bishop. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just leave it there. Good. Mm. 
<clears throat> Queen B3 Arts. That's a bit unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Queen. Just move it. Okay. Um, maybe I'll come here. Good. I thought you wanted to keep the queens on the board, so... Yeah, I do. Yeah, sorry. I'm just very indecisive. <laughs> uh, it's normal. You still have more than one minute and 30 seconds. Okay. So we have time to be indecisive. <laughs> Oh, this uh, this rook is so insistive. Okay, yes. queen. Okay, uh, okay, rooks. We can't avoid it. Okay. Yeah, can't do anything about that. Uh, horsey. Horsey, horse. Um, we want to keep our pawn uh, structure this way. Very good. Okay. Okay, pawn. Fine. Another pawn? Um. Uh, no, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, there was the, the uh, pawn. This is push. Pawn. Knight. Um. We uh, have one knight. I'll make a move. <laughs> Talitali 26 raided with 14 viewers. Talitali, thank you so much for the raid. New viewers, welcome. I'm playing hand and brain with my moderator, so, so you're having a good time here. And we make the move with a pawn. I'm yeah, good. Speed. Yeah, we had to speed up a little bit. You're playing very well, just uh, have some uh, time pressure. Story of my life. <laughs> uh, Rook. Uh, Marble Zenia, thanks for gifting a tier 1 sub to Tali Tali. Rook 8, I like it very much. Uh, now, Pawn. Railwood, hello. Um, I don't know. No, you could play f3, and it's kind of like the bishop on h2 is so very bad, but e3 is also bad. Oh, maybe even your maybe even your move is better. Is it? <laughs> I thought about f3, but e3 looks so f3. strong. This one looks very good. I, I did something right for once. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> the 
That's in conclusion, there are ponies. Just they are not so popular. Horses are more popular. Okay. Ah, uh, looks strange. Okay. Pawn. Pawn. No. Sorry. Away there. We could win the bishop. Okay, doesn't matter. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we could take another oh. pawn. Yeah, I see that now. <laughs> yeah, we could take the pawn with uh with yeah. the rook and then take um G three, but well. Yeah. We still have the initiative. Okay. Uh, king. King. Good. <laughs> Rook. Um. Uh, I don't know where. Uh, just play. <laughs> uh, knight. A rook. Knight. Rook. Oops, I didn't mean that. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> A rook. Again. Oh, no. That's what I meant on the previous move. Wait, which? This move? Yeah, rook of two, but with the rook from f8. Oh. Oh, anyway. <laughs> We are still doing good. Um, looks like yes. we broke this can, uh, he's back. A uh, move four? Yep, real what I did read. I did read all these important recommendations. <clears throat> So, we are a pound down, but we have a huge activity. Uh, this rook is out of play, and this one has. Uh, uh, we'll have the chance maybe later. Uh, rook? Maybe not. Rook, 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 good. Rook. Good. Rook. Good. <laughs> um, pawn. Pawn. Uh, Good. A rook. Good. Great. A rook. <laughs> Fantastic. King. Checkmate. <laughs> oh, uh. Okay, Rook. There we go. Here we go. You made better. Uh, I mean, you mean. <laughs> I mean, you made more great moves uh, just in one game that uh, Lizzie made uh, within these nine months, I think. <laughs> We need to clip that and send it to Lizzie. <laughs> yeah, she will be very happy about that. I, I, I think it's kind of great that I was 
playing someone named Rooks, and then we had like four Rooks on the board at the end. <laughs> Uh, okay, I can quickly show some of the things because you were concentrating on the game and perhaps you didn't see what I was point pointing and I actually I wasn't pointing much. Uh, so here I think like knight c6, um, bishop g4 was good, c3 mm -hmm. and e5 was good. And here after h3 I didn't want to give the bishop, computer says bishop f5, bishop f5 I don't like so much. Uh, you may, you <laughs> you played according to the second line, and I wanted you to play according to the third line. <laughs> Wait, what's the first line? Uh, the first line is bishop to f5, but it's a bit weird. Oh, f5. Uh, but I mean, it's depth 15, so it uh, actually doesn't say much. Uh, well, I, I have depth 1, so <laughs> that's more than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, I... because. 15 is really like a low depth, so you need to, to hide at least 20. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I wanted, what I thought we could do, like to keep the bishop on this diagonal, to go bishop h5, do you see it? Yes, I'm looking um, on your Twitch stream. Ah, okay, good. So if I did, ah, after d takes f5, computer said there is a strong move of queen e4 and then knight e5. Uh, but I thought we could take on d1, white takes, and we take on e5. And if the knight takes, we have a checkmate. So this was the plan of mating 4. Oh, I see. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, but the thing you did was also good. You played bishop f3, bishop f3. Oh, you see, now the elevation changed because computer needs time. Now the computer thinks white is better. And I also think this position is a bit better for white. But here bishop g4 was actually very strange because anyway we would have played f5 but with bishop g4 we just got another tempo. Uh, bishop e2 and yeah I thought bishop e7 was a bit stronger because after queen b3 then we can go queen to d7 and keep the queens on the board. And I think it's good for black to keep the queens on the board in this position because uh, we are ahead in development, so when white castles, we start the attack first with g5, g4, or g5, f5, f4. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why, yeah, it was good to keep the queens, but after bishop d6, queen b3, we didn't have a choice. Uh, queen a5, and now queen b5 was played, but computer doesn't like queen b5 so much. Okay, white is wasted sometimes. So after queen b5, you played well. H6, uh, bishop h4 was a big mistake because with bishop h4, uh, it's just white buried the bishop alive to <laughs> on h2. Now knight f5 was good, rook g1, c6 was good, rook a8 was good, e3 was perfect, I thought f3, but what, okay, at the moment f3 is like the first line and e3 is the third line, uh, according to the engine, but but after you played e3, the relation, uh, the relation is uh, higher, so maybe e3 is just stronger, but after f takes e3, you obviously had to take on g3 and win the ace. <laughs> yeah, and after that there was only one mistake. Here you played well. Ah, okay, knight h4 was a bit more active. Uh, oh, there was some sacrifice, knight d4. I didn't see knight d4. Uh, what's happening after? Mm -hmm. Ah, knight d4, c takes d4, and now we take the pawn and we are attacking the bishop and threatening rook d2. Oh, that was, that was a brilliant combination, but I didn't see that. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, okay, I didn't see that, but Linda, uh, could, couldn't you spot this easy sacrifice? Oh, I mean, Linda, so, so disappointed. <laughs> Linda saw it, but I didn't, yeah, sometimes it happens. Uh, so that was nice. I wanted to play. No, I, I could see it. I just wanted to go easy on, on white. <laughs> uh, I thought, knight, okay, knight h4 was the second best line and we forced the tray and then yeah okay the knight on h4 is much more active and white has to spend uh one more move with the rook to move it somewhere so okay the knight on e7 is a bit passive anyway knight e7 was fine take take uh rook, rook g3 was a big mistake because with rook g3 white allowed us to keep the pawn on e3 white should have taken it immediately because now after knight d5 there is a huge threat of rook f2 
Unfortunately, we missed it. I mean, after bishop b3 here, Linda, you could play immediately rook f2, and it's like winning on the spot. Because uh, king d3 runs almost into a checkmate. I mean, the pawn is running, and also some b5 ideas. Uh, so, yeah. Mm, you played <coughs> uh, rook f6, and now. And now it's more or less equal, but then you played brilliantly and uh, you deserve to win that game. I mean, it was like, um, everything was clear, we played great and we won. A short summary of it. Let's play another game. <laughs> we didn't miss anything in this game. <laughs> it was all fun. Um, okay. Here you have it. Touch! Great! Knight! Uh, pawn. Drunk Romanic, you have some a uh, question mark next to your nick. Are there any questions uh, which are unanswered and you are searching for an answer? Here are many people in the chat, we can help you. Uh, Bishop. Glam drink. Do you want a ban? What do you mean go drunky? You came to our stream and you write go drunky? Uh, Kin. Uh, pawn. Good setup. I thought you would approve. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, queen. Pawn. Okay. Pawn March Destroyer, who was a guy who said he liked Maria more than me? Is he still here? Is he alive? Pawn? Jojo, indeed, it's the Leningrad Dutch. Remove the pawn. And life is good. Uh, by the way, did we give 1,000 channel points to the person who guessed that the stream would be with you? I am not <laughs> quite sure how to do that. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. No pressure. You will get the points. Uh, pawn? Okay, which one? Uh, you have eight of them. Uh, G5 is a little bit strange. Uh, B5, yeah, uh, you just mo uh, lose the pawn. D5, you just lose the pawn, but you have uh, five more. Mm -hmm. Echo? Uh. Glam drink, which, which echo? I'm using the headphones, so I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's like our first game again. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna pick the wrong one. Uh, okay, uh, let's agree. Uh, from now on, we will move the pawn when it's only obvious. Pawn okay. move. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. we move some other pieces. But literally, if, if you move any of these uh, five pawns which are remaining, it's okay. I will do this one. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want to know the evaluation after F4? <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> I would rather live in ignorance. Drug per maniac doesn't know it either, so... So it's fine. Pawn? But we intimidated him. F4 is almost a checkmate. Almost yeah. a force yeah. checkmate. Um, what do we do now? Uh, let's say we move the bishop. The bishop? Yeah, the bishop. Um. 
Many, many people in the chat they are enjoying that you are not in the chat and that they can write many things <laughs> because I need is too kind to ban people. <laughs> okay, uh, Queen. <clears throat> Mod free. <laughs> Oh, I need um. you already banned someone. Someone did too much. Okay, I just ja just move the queen. Um, yeah. yeah, fantastic. We didn't blunder bishop c4, so so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. Try not to do that. No, Furiba, it was not you. You can still type, you are safe. Yeah, I mean, don't think I mean, I guess it's a good score against me. So. Uh, so, pawn. Pawn, okay. You see? Easy. Yeah, you know, th these are the kind of ponders I want. <laughs> we are a great team. And knight? Um. Oh, was it so bad? Is this what you were thinking? Uh, I thought uh, I thought about knight c six, but somehow after knight c six, uh, uh, the relation went not into our favor. But it's not obvious at all. Mm -hmm. Do you know that we have the prediction poll? Oh. And you know what? People okay. believe in us. Oh, someone uh, spent all his rating, uh, all his channel points for that. Pawn? Oh wait, all, all their channel points? <laughs> no, wow. it was like immediately 480 points. Oh, but now 5k. Oh, no, we will win this. We will win the poll, but uh, if we will win the game, it's still not clear. <laughs> Uh, what do we do now? Bishop? 30k! Glandrian, did you do that? Mm. Uh, Angel, you spent 30k! Oh no, I pray for your 30k. <laughs> I, I can just pray for your start key. <laughs> Arok. Okay. Um. Alita, we are playing for angel points. <laughs> Sorry, angel. <laughs> Sorry, angel. <laughs> <laughs> we are still playing, but we are so sore. <laughs> Arok. We have some crazy number of channel points for uh, 47k for us and 25 for uh, drunk for a maniac. Mm -hmm. uh, amazing stuff. Night. Patsaris, good evening. Glamdron spent only 2727. 27, 27. Mm. <laughs> Barely, barely it's great. No pressure, but we have spent many channel points. <laughs> Linda, very good. Night E4, I like it. Pawn mark destroyer will 
talk to you. It would be a very serious talk. Very, very serious talk. Bon. Queen. King. King. Jojo, I have no idea. What happens to the ten to uh, to the channel points if they make it? I think all the channel points uh, should be returned. Uh, I think Linda is too concentrated. She's not here for the moment. Uh, Paul. But we will ask her after the game. Okay. Pawn. Linda is the future GM. <laughs> no, because there was a question if you are a GM and uh, so. So it was logical. And now. Okay, knight. Knight. Um. Uh, Mr. Lama, you are also the future GM, but nobody asked about you. There can be many future GMs. Where do you want this knight to go? <laughs> to support the pawn. Okay. <clears throat> this way. Great. I also thought about knight a5, but knight a5 maybe uh, rook d3. But I prefer a knight before. No, Alex. No, I respect you. I'm not bullying you. Oh, I miss the chat. <laughs> Oh, the chat is amazing today. <laughs> Night. The chat is oh. great. Not only today. Always, yes, that's very true. All, always. <clears throat> um, Alinda, what do we do with the night now? <laughs> That's <laughs> your problem. Oh, it's my problem. Okay, knight. Oh, Let, let's fun. let's fight to save it. Let's fight to save it. Um, hmm. Yeah, a bit of an issue with this knight. You know, I, I don't like horses. You don't like? Okay, just move it. Move! Uh... Why didn't you move it to a3? Um... Oh, okay. Never mind. I... Uh, <laughs> rook. Rook? Move! Rook? Rook, move! Where? We have nice seconds, but no pressure. <laughs> it's a lot of time. Mm, just another, just another Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Burley, that's exactly how this works. <laughs> uh, 47k of channel points. <laughs> Yeah, the best way to make me tilt is to vote for me. <laughs> Just the tip. Uh, Bishop. Bishop? Yeah. Bishop, two seconds. Uh, Great. Uh, rook. No. Rook. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Four 
47k. 47k. We saved your 47k of channel points. Bomber Destroyer, how do you feel about that? Short interview with Bomber Destroyer. I paid Drunky. Drunky, are you here? <laughs> Are you here, Drunky? No, dr Drunky disappeared. <laughs> Can't blame him. Oh, what a game. I know, I think I can take another game like this. <laughs> uh, should we analyze this game? Uh, sure, if you want. If I want, okay. I mean, I, I want to, I always learn a lot. So, this was fine. Queen e8 if e5 was good. F4 was a little bit um, like an over push. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the first time I've done that. <laughs> I thought like when I said the ball, like you can play c6 because c6 is the mode that is often met in um, this type of structure. So you restrict this knight that it doesn't jump to d5 or b5. Mm -hmm. Or uh, the first computer slide is e4. You can also play it. First e4 and then c6. And d5. So you can even build this kind of chain. And then attack. I mean, the, this knight will move somewhere and then you attack with g5, f4. Like e4, c6, d5, and then g5, f4. Uh, so that that's maybe the best plan in this position. f4... Uh, you almost never play f4. You play f4 only when white goes e4. If white goes like... How to get rid of all these arrows? If white goes e4, then you can think about f4 because you block the structure. And then you can attack with g5, uh, g4. But if you play f4 right now, white can simply open the center. You can't attack anymore. And then it's like uh, rook e1. I mean, look at all this development. It's just... Uh, not the best way to do it. Lady in Black, thanks for gifting dear one sub to the community. So it went to Lucas. Lucas, you are my new sub. <laughs> uh, that's why, okay, don't play f4 in the next game. Okay, good to uh, know. <laughs> good to know, but uh, in the game it was immediately, it takes f4. Four, so you had one line closed, what is actually better for you, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, rook e1 was good, bishop f5 was good, c5 was okay, queen d7 was good. We didn't blunder bishop c4, so... Yes, yeah, so that was the one I was trying not to do. Uh, take, take, uh, rook c1, yeah, and knight c6, I thought about knight... knight. Knight a6 is the first round line, knight c6 is the second. Well, knight c6 looks much more natural. Uh, d5 is the right move, yeah, indeed. d5 is the move I was afraid, because if the knight goes to e7, uh, then white gets this square, then head into e6, so it's quite unpleasant for black. And if you go to e5, then this structure is not so good. Like take, take, and just, ah, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe it's d6. Uh, bishop c4, attack and this pawn, and this pawn on d6 is a very strong boss pawn. Uh, so d5 was strong. Uh, bishop c4 was definitely wrong. Bishop c4 was played in the game. d5 was the best. Uh, bishop d3, yeah, now I wanted you to play bishop g4. Uh, Pinning the knight and then attacking on d4. Oh, I was thinking about that. Also, bishop g4 is good because uh, one of the ideas for white is to play knight e5. And if you take, white takes, and then you have problems with the d5 pawn. So with bishop g4, you kind of solve two of the problems. You are attacking mm -hmm. the d4 pawn and you are not allowing knight to e5. But okay. you played bishop d3, which is... Yeah, I guess I just wasn't sure what to do after like h3 after h3 we simply take the pawn we take and take take so white had to defend it somehow uh computer shows bishop e2 i believe bishop e2 is the best move once again earn you in the threat of knight e5 but now we trade it 
We don't allow 95, and then we play something like rook e8. So I think white is slightly better, but uh, bishop g4 was the best option in that position, the best one. Mm -hmm. uh, bishop d3 is second best, so you did well. Take, take, rook e8. I mean, there aren't any really in other moves, <laughs> I guess. Uh, okay, yeah, and knight d5 is the, is the top choice, the first choice of the engine, which is quite logical. Uh, rook e8 is definitely a run because, uh, because you just uh, lose a tempo, you, you just give the file for free. And now a4, <clears throat> knight e4. Wait, rook e8 was wrong? What, what were you thinking then? Uh, for white? Um, Which no, I mean, uh, rook eight from your side was okay, but rook eight from white side was wrong because after okay. yeah, uh, I mean, white could play knight e five after trading the rooks. Uh, this square is not controlled, and white just uh, gave the file for free. Mm -hmm. So it was not good. A four knight e four was good. We occupied the central squares, and then we may threaten something like that before. Uh, knight e4 was a mistake because it improves uh, it improves black structure and then the problems with the d4 pawn uh, white started to have problems with the d4 pawn so d takes e5 was correct uh, queen f7 was correct it's more or less forced uh, but here e3 is three the second move? Oh, I thought about h6. Yeah, because after h6, white is forced to go to h3, some ugly place. Then we play g5, and uh, white is basically playing without the knight. Then we simply go rook d8, uh, and uh, uh, I have serious doubts white would be able to defend the d4 pawn. It's just, it's just looking like winning for black. Because white is playing without the piece, and the pawn is weak, so... It's very difficult mm -hmm. to find something good. But e3, according to computer, is also fine. Just after e3, you give the square for the knight. So after f6, what, uh, the knight can always go here. And actually, knight uh, ah, take, take, and the knight went immediately to f3. And now knight b4 was very good. Uh, but here, we self-trapped our knight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, we could just place it on d5 where it attacks the bishop, it stops the pawn, and it uh, uh, protects our pawn. So it yeah, has... that seems so obvious now that you point it out. <laughs> yeah, then we can actually free the rook and uh, move it somewhere here. It's just a great position for us. Mm -hmm. After knight c2, um, there were some troubles. But I thought that after rook c1 you can still go knight a3 and let's say if white plays we should be 2 then maybe e2. Look okay, computer says it's still it's all I, lost. I, oh. Yeah, I thought the knight would still be trapped on a3. Yeah, so why to uh, why to suffer? If we know that we will lose the slide anyway, we just sacrifice it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we just sacrifice it and then we fight. We don't give up. This is important. Uh, chat, it's not like you trap your knight and you resign. No, no, no. <laughs> not in our case, at least. So we keep on playing and then we try to find some tricks. And uh, we found some tricks. We play um, rook d8 and I think from practical point of view, it was much better to play knight e2. And... Um, always keep an eye on this pawn because the computer shows like knight e6 is the top line and it's indeed winning but there are but now there are some problems first of all we managed to win the game immediately after <laughs> rook c3 rook d1 which was great uh but secondly after uh, knight d8 i was going to play bishop d2 and it's another trap because for example white cannot go rook d1 because of e2 so white had to find some move like rook b1 or rook a1 and after e2 to find king f2. I mean, uh, if uh, white played 
Knight e2 here immediately, why well, I didn't have to calculate any of these lines and it would be just an easy win. But it's another story and after knight e2 we wouldn't have checkmated and uh, there wouldn't be so much fun. So thank you Drunk Paramaniac, you were kind to us. <laughs> and then in the sub battle you can play better uh, but uh, here for our game thank you so much uh, fight until the end indeed latin and blonde thank you uh, so do you play another game Let's we want then. to play Mr. Mr. Lava we push the pawn okay Uh, knight. <laughs> time to win some rating. Uh, so, time to win some channel points. Ah, okay. Bishop. <laughs> there is a good question from Jojo. What would Anna say if someone made this mistake in the sub battle? <laughs> How could you do that? <laughs> Boom. D which mistake though? <laughs> Pawn. Pawn. Uh, knight. <laughs> uh, we play another Linda variation. King. Prediction started. Let's go. <laughs> How many channel points will we share now? <laughs> Oh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, I, I, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. The... Are you serious? <laughs> Arthur, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so much for raid. It was a party of 26. Hope you had a good stream. Uh, we pushed the pawn. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, welcome all the new viewers. Today I play a hand and brain with my moderator. So. So we have a big day. <laughs> I think I think Alex has been studying. Alex, have you been studying this line? He didn't play um Bishop takes C3. Thank you, Arthurs. Thank you. Maybe maybe D5 confused him though. <laughs> Okay. Oh, knight a five is definitely wrong. Uh, uh, it's it's a line. <laughs> it's a, oh, you know this line. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you? <clears throat> what am I doing here, uh, Bishop? <laughs> Bishop. Um. Uh, Fifty-seven point nine for our fifty-seven fifty-eight k for us at the moment. Okay, I, I prefer this with pawn instead, <laughs> but let's do this. With pawn instead? What did you mean? I think b takes c3, I would have preferred. But then there is the problem, and b takes c3 and knight c4. Yeah, and then queen d4. Queen d4 and uh, knight d6. Knight d6, queen takes g7. Ne I mean knight, knight c d6, queen g7, queen f6, something like that. Okay, we'll analyze it later. Or, uh, uh, I mean, we can also analyze it uh, uh, during Alex's time. I mean, Alex, if you're here in the chat, we can analyze it. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, Bishop. Chess dog has spent 5k. Okay, mm, okay, queen. <laughs> now drone Pramaniac has faith in Lama, okay. Queen. Um, what should we go for here? Um, 
We should play fair, yes? Rook? Isn't there another move here? Am I missing something? Uh, I didn't understand your question. What about a pawn move here? Mm, no, that doesn't work. Never mind, let's do this. <laughs> Good. Uh, pawn. Great. Ah, uh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> it couldn't be better. Uh, yes. How many channel points are there? Just for the records. Just for the record. Grand Romaniak, how are you? Perhaps you got a heart attack. 70k or something for Linda. Okay. Twenty for Alex, but uh, uh, it was like five for, from drunk from Mike. <laughs> Quite pissed. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <clears throat> Paul. Uh, Bishop. Okay, um, let's just move it here. Rook? <laughs> just talk or you have to. I don't know, let's just move it somewhere. Yes, uh, I mean, it's very logical, you just put another rook for another open file, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that accomplished a lot. Knight. Knight. Um, where do we want this horsey first? I mean, I can also say which move I want to make. You what? You can also say. It's from you. No, I'm just. I'm just kidding. Robert to visit it. Sure. That's how we work today. Okay. Okay. Uh, rook. We just take that. I think it's fine. It's wonderful. <laughs> uh, hmm, how to make it? How to make it tonight? <clears throat> Night? But it's so comfy on day four. Uh, uh, 
it can oh. be even better. <laughs> Yes, we just have not to lose on time. Oh, maybe... Okay, fine. Bishop? Oh, <clears throat> Eric. Good. Bishop. Um. Wait. Can we just? Can we just do that? I think it works. <laughs> Does it? No. Uh, no. Whatever, let's just go back. <laughs> okay, safe option. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Bishop. Um, just play. Uh, just play. It's fine. Queen. Queen? Uh, let's go here. Okay. Okay. Rook. Rook. Queen. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, now it's very tense. <laughs> yeah. Pawn? Pawn? The, um, go. <laughs> Queen. Good. Rook. Rook. <gasps> Pawn. Pawn. Wait, what's happening? Pawn. Good. We were blundering the checkmate. Oh yes. Rook. Oh, right, right. oh my god, what's happening? Good. King. Pawn. Mm. Good. Bishop. Just move. Um, move the bishop. I don't know. Just move. Bishop. Good. Good. Very good. But why didn't we get why didn't we get uh, five seconds? Did we not Bishop? Okay. Uh Bishop? 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 
Bishop. Uh, this bishop made the game. Bishop. <laughs> um, which one? Mm. Just know. move. Yes, good. Pawn. Very good. Uh, bishop. Is. Uh, Let's do here. Good. King. Bishop. Mm. Hey. Uh, oh. Bishop. King. Bishop. King. 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 Um, yeah. Okay, let's go this way. Bishop. 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 Um. I need Diana. Okay, fine. <laughs> I thought it might be should be one, but we should be one. We should be one. E one. Yeah, just a check. Oh, yes. Okay. Kin. Kin. Keen. Uh. <laughs> Keen. Uh, Bishop. Pawn. Good. The pawn move was the best move. <laughs> yes, these are the kind of pawn moves I like. <laughs> Bishop? <clears throat> King? King? Pawn, 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 queen? <laughs> oh man. Yay! You know, I like to make these games more exciting. This is why I <laughs> That's why you blunder the checkmate, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it was a nice game. It was a nice game. Was it? <laughs> it was a nice game. I mean, most of the most were really good. We just blunder the checkmate. Oh, we only blunder the checkmate. No big deal, no big deal, you know? <laughs> happens, happens all the time. And, and only once. <laughs> yeah, only once. It wasn't even twice or three times. Yeah, so, so, so. <laughs> so, what about this game? Let's go back to the opening. Mm -hmm. So, this is good. Uh, D5, and Linda knows about Knight A5. I don't know about Knight A5. Yeah, I do know about it. I think if you take here, like B takes C3, that's, that transposes more into the main line. What, one of the main lines? Uh, you heard that, yes, the main line. Uh, I wasn't sure because I calculated the line like b takes c3, knight c4. You were going to play queen d4, right? Yes, yeah. Queen, knight, and what yeah. about knight, d uh, knight d6? Yeah, knight d6 and then queen g7. Uh, queen g7, queen f6? Queen f yeah, queen trade. Oh. Yeah. And, and then exchange queens here. Um, so if king d8, there is bishop g4. Yeah, and right? now check. Oh, this is this is this is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we can and even 
If, yeah, this is winning. Yeah. This is winning. And if can F eight. Oh, rook takes knight. Uh, no, I mean if get f8 here, uh, there is the idea of bishop h6. Bishop, yeah, bishop check here. Bishop h6. You see, guys? You see that? What a line? And then here probably knight has to go to um, e4. <laughs> Uh, so what did I uh, what did I have to do after rook e one go to na knight to e four yeah? Uh, no no uh, in knight. that position it's showing yeah. yeah because here we can win the knight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mentioned the other position after. Yes, this looks very nice. Uh, this and computer suggests actually castling. Castling is very safe. I like this move. Like the first suggestion is mm -hmm. f5, but f5 is very dangerous. I prefer castling. So you give back one of the knights, uh, mm -hmm. but after that your position is safe and uh, black is a pawn up. So if white takes this knight, uh, uh, black goes here and there's uh -huh. normal development like d6, bishop d7. I think knight d6 here maybe. Uh, I knight, don't know. knight d6 is also possible, but then there are some problems to develop this bishop. Yeah. Because after b6, bishop b7, it's still like hitting the pawn. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Computer prefers knight to d6, I prefer knight to b6. Knight to b6 is more human. Mm -hmm. uh, while if white takes this pawn, then once again we, play, we can play like knight d6 and it's more or less the same position, or knight f6 followed by d6. It's also quite a game for black. More or less. Uh, but I like the move we made with mm -hmm. bishop d3. Yeah, that there. was uh, that was good too. It was uh, it was actually the f it was actually the first line. Yeah, I think this is a great move too. I'm just less familiar mm -hmm. with it. So there is some uh, castle is okay. Bishop e four, bishop f six, queen c two is slightly better than queen d three. H six, rook b one is good because we get rid of that pin or this diagonal. And yeah. now Alex, you have to take care of your knight. And computer suggests something like c five, controlling this b four move or b six. Uh, followed by knight b7, knight c5, or knight d6. Because after d6, b4, it was a bit difficult to play. A bit difficult, but you fought very well. Uh, you were trying. Uh, so, this is good from both of the sides. Of course, it's completely winning for white, but Alex fought very well. So, a6. Mm -hmm. Trade, bishop e5. Uh, here you are calculating some sacrifices and they were actually working. Like, yeah, that's what I was thinking too, that it would work. But then I was like, I don't want to <laughs> mess this up. So one of the ideas was to sacrifice here, then play rook e7, attacking this queen, and then taking on g6. Another, oh, okay. another idea which is uh, maybe even easier because it's forced, we take this pawn and after... Uh, g takes f5, we take the rook, and we take the f5 pawn, then we take the f7 pawn, and it's just mm -hmm. like... Uh, it would have been easier, but we we are not looking for some easy ways. Oh, instead we get a stressful endgame. <laughs> yeah, instead, 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 instead here, I thought like you would find bishop e6, I took the f7 pawn. It's actually quite strange that bishop e6 is only the third line. Ah, because first, maybe rook e7, okay, it's like everything is winning. Um, you played bishop f3, uh, this was fine, this was okay, when uh, pawn, uh, rook e8, queen c7 was good, and here um, our rook move was not the best. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah. it was my mistake uh, because uh, 
because we had to play g4 immediately or g3 and I side the rook because I didn't look so much at the position. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and no. playing rook c1 was like the only move, but rook c1, well, it's still winning, but it's a strange move. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. uh, so my mistake here, you played rook a7. Yeah, um, I forgot and... <laughs> about what the bishop was doing on. And I was like praying at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Um, because rook b1 was um, a small problem, but luckily mm -hmm. after rook b3 we finally, <laughs> we finally... Yeah, somehow I forgot about you know, that the bishop was covering the escape square. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to play g3 long ago just to have this lift for the game. Okay. Okay, and then I really liked your bishop maneuver, like bishop e4, bishop c2, and bishop b3. Then. Uh, then there was a realization on one sec sometimes we made the move with one second. It's like a perfect <laughs> control of the time, perfect feeling of the time. We can do that. <laughs> uh, so that's it. Is that how much time I had left here? Uh, you had a few seconds. And okay. uh, when you made one of the moves, I saw that you have three seconds, and I was puzzled because you can't have three seconds after the move. You should have at least five something, yeah? Over five. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so I was like asking, like, why do you have three seconds? But then uh, after the move was made, uh, like, you got these five seconds. So everything's fine. Mm hmm. I see. Okay. Um, wait, do we still want to try with you playing, or should I just keep doing this? I like the way you're doing it. <laughs> Okay. I think you're doing great. <laughs> great. Just, just wondering, checkmate, you know. <laughs> I mean, okay. why, why to point some little things? I have a challenge here from class. Ah, class is one of the subs. It's broccoli, okay. I think. Mm -hmm. So we move the pawn. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. You open it. This is actually my... This is French. Yes, I know. <laughs> Knight? Okay. This is actually my first time playing this, so I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, how do you feel about it? <laughs> well, I had a look at this yesterday, that's how I feel about it. Oh, C5 is very strange, so uh, that means uh, Black is already out of the theory, we move the pawn. Yeah, isn't there three main options here for black? Uh, yeah, there is knight of sega, there is bishop e4 and dx4. Yeah. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, prediction, please. Prediction. Um, everything is pushed on. No, this is not good. Oh, sorry. This is strategically not good. I don't know what that word means. <laughs> um, Not in my vocabulary. There is some strategy in chess. <laughs> um, <laughs> po? Angel, oh. bye bye. Thanks for being here. Uh, maybe you can make the last prediction and then you leave. <laughs> mm. And hopefully you get your points. I did X5 is good, I think. Uh, knight. Uh, here is the prediction. Mm -hmm. Knight. Thank you, Anit. And bye bye, Angel. See you next time. Thanks for coming, Angel. Yeah, sure. Night. Pawn. <laughs> we already got sixty seven thousand. Who has just put five K on? Broccoli. On here? Uh, yeah. Mm. 
pawn again. Who is this betrayer? Wait, who is betraying us? What's happening? <laughs> uh, someone has just put 5k for uh, class. Ah, they're well, Zip, you know. <laughs> hmm. Bishop. Um, which one? <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> maybe we can just go here. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Viewers like a uh, class avatar. It's funny. Kin. Bishop? Very good, Linda. Rook. <clears throat> Rook. Yes. We were not giving up the bishop pair. Okay, we were giving, but uh, with giving the bishop pair, we would have approved our pawn structure. Uh, what is the rook doing on e one? <laughs> I don't know, I didn't want to move it. I didn't want to move that. Okay, uh, pawn. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. <laughs> we'll discuss it later. <laughs> um, you said pawn? Yes. Okay, you didn't want to move the rook, so let's move the pawn. Uh... I don't want to move the pawn. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, um, maybe let's... <laughs> um, okay, let's try once more with the rook. <laughs> you want this from the beginning? <laughs> right. <laughs> what about the pawn on a2 then? I thought about the pawn on b3, to be honest. Uh, bishop? Uh, that's why I wanted the pawn on b3 and the rook on c1. <laughs> oh, okay. We need some time to get there. But finally, we made it. <laughs> it doesn't come immediately, but it comes. You just you know, have to I wait. Take my time. Yeah. Um, no there's problem. this thing, like everything good comes to those who wait or something. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, queen? Queen, queen, queen.
A. Um. We are in some troubles. <laughs> Okay, bishop. Okay, now I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you just moved the bishop. One of them. Um. That's called Linda's attack. Uh, to, um, to understand, it's like the attack which intimidates your opponent. So, mm. Bishop? Oh, that seems interesting. I thought that was the plan, but you have been thinking so long that I was like, are you going to give this no. bishop? <laughs> bishop? Bishop? A rook. This is okay. That's good, I think. Pawn? Good. We have 15 seconds, but no pressure. It's only the 100th time today. <laughs> no worries. Uh, rook. Rook? Yeah. Rook where? Sour. Move. Oh, okay. More or less. <laughs> Pawn. King. Uh, rook. Uh, 
Haruk? Kane? Pawn? Rook? Rook? Knight? Good? <laughs> King, Knight, 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 okay. <laughs> King, Knight. Pawn. Pawn. Um. I don't know. <laughs> Knight. <laughs> King. King, King, uh, Pawn, <coughs> King, Knight, King. Um. Right here. Pawn. King. Pawn. Night. Night. Night where? <laughs> so. Oh, let's see here. Night. Um, night. <laughs> Night. <laughs> That's so close to being a fork. Good. Uh, night. Night. Uh, yep. Night. Where where do really you want it? Linda. <laughs> Sorry. I was confused by all the timers. Um okay class. Mm. We are sorry. <laughs> sorry. We are sorry for the like, point. I, I, I was like where? No, but just somewhere. 
No, because when you moved oh. to Kin, you were like going almost into the checkmate uh, because Kin A7, Kin F8, there could be a problem with the checkmate, so I didn't move, want to move the Kin. But in the end, you could just move the knight, I think, to G8. And if the Kin goes here, you just go back. Or you okay. go Kin F6. Uh, I mean, Knight G8 and Kin F6 is like. Mm -hmm. I thought that was what you wanted to do. Uh, but apparently not. <laughs> I didn't realize, I guess, how how dangerous it was. Okay, we will not go through the whole game, but there was a moment like this after c5. Uh, you should not go e5, because black is already attacking the d4. Uh, so black could just take perhaps on d4, and then after queen d4, like to play knight c6. So you are just losing some uh, tempest here. Um, um, so instead of that, you could take on d5, and then after e takes d5, just to play knight f3, and you would just play again the isolated pawn, like bishop e5, or or you could even take on c5 because maybe d4 is not so dangerous here as you can go knight b5. After bishop c5, there is bishop f4. So you play, you can play e5 when you have control over the d4 square. For example, you can play d e5 here, and after c5 you go with c3, and you control the center. Uh, but the way it was uh, in the game, it was not so good because with your knight on c3, you are not controlling the c the d4 square after e5. Like c takes d4 would be just good for black. Wait, can you repeat that? Okay. I mean, with knight on c3, you're not controlling, and uh, you are just. Uh, I mean, black has a very easy play and a uh, very comfortable play. So don't play e5 when you're not controlling the d4 square. Okay, and the difference there was that before we could still push the c pawn. Uh, sorry. Um. So it's either you do it on move three, mm -hmm. and then you play this system, or uh, for example, after knight f6, it's okay because you are winning the tempo, the knight has to move, and then you can uh, control the uh, d4 square, you can protect with the knight. It's not like you have to go with the queen and then uh, to go with the queen again. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I just I didn't understand why e5 was a thing, I just knew it was a thing. <laughs> Yeah, also after bishop before e5 is the move, because after c5 there is like a long theory like this, and if black takes, you take, and once again you control the d4 square. So this square is actually very important to control. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I've seen this too. Um, okay. okay, do we play the last game, and we mm -hmm. try to win it? Okay, um, new game. <laughs> new game, pawn. All right. Knight. Oh, this. Uh, this uh, bishop. I, I, I think I saw some games you did it this way. <laughs> Knight. And the last prediction poll to get some points. Someone will get, someone will lose. Uh, what's that? Knight. Mm. Oh gosh, knight. Horsey horse. I think our opponent is a bit drunk. <laughs> because after six moves, he managed to give two pawns and the rook. It's not so easy. I mean, uh, you have to be a very talented person to do that. <laughs> he was feeling generous today. Oh yeah, he's very kind to us. Maybe he wants to give some points. 
to some not not to some people but to people who likes <laughs> who like us uh, so we move the bishop Uh, mm -hmm. Supi, I agree with you. That was an interesting try, and definitely it was like the only try because it's the only way to make the game like more complicated. Mm. Oh, king! But now it's a bit too late. <laughs> this reminds me of the uh... <laughs> Traxler <laughs> Quant. Yeah, yeah, but it's delayed. <laughs> Yeah. A ve very much delayed. What do I do with the king here? Uh, king? Um, mm. I don't see any problems with moving the king. With making the king move. I feel like because I usually, in the track store, I, I don't take it, but maybe it's fine. <laughs> How can I help you? <laughs> Maybe we can just... Yeah... <laughs> Why didn't you take it? I don't know, I'm too scared. <laughs> And keeping the bishop on f2, you're not scared. <laughs> <laughs> you all talk after the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you could just take it and... Uh, I don't see... And, okay, there is knight e4, you just go to g1. And that's it. It's just the attack for one move. Okay. After queen c5, queen c5 there was d4. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we could try again. <laughs> uh, one second. Hmm. Uh, bishop. Bishop. Kim. Yeah, I wanted to save our b5 bishop because if we took immediately, then there was queen c5 and we had to give the bishop. So why to give the bishop if you can keep the bishop? <laughs> okay, now we just have to be careful. We move the king. No, barely, it's not the theory. The theory stopped. The theory ended on move four. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Okay, um... <laughs> These are all book moves. <sighs> it can, Burley. Maybe we can just come back here. Uh, yeah, I think it's the best because after Kini one there were problems with Bishop G4. So. But now we can uh, uh, Kin. Well, this is a difficult move to make. Uh, yeah, the move with the Kin is a difficult one. <laughs> yeah. And now there is no Bishop G4. So. So we are a rook and a piece up, uh, mm -hmm. but we have to be careful because our king is still unsafe.
kid is I don't know how a uh, uh, Petrov game turned into this, like, <laughs> this stuff. <laughs> uh, Queen. What is Night G4? <laughs> uh, we may ask Jasper. Am I missing something? Uh, well, you don't have so many moves with the Queen, so... So if uh, you're missing, then I'm missing something too. <laughs> uh, knight? Mm -hmm. um. So I was actually mating too. <laughs> and I missed it. I wanted to make a solid move. <laughs> <laughs> I I, <laughs> I like that. You gotta live up to your nickname. Queen? Um. <laughs> C complex. Solid chess costing us protection points. Uh, we are really sorry, but it happened only in one game. In all the other games, you got your points, so don't blame us. We are we are playing very solid. And we are moving the queen, hoping not to blunder okay. it. Oh. Couldn't we take any of the pawns? Ah, okay, queen. <laughs> Wait, isn't this better though? <laughs> now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Linda, I think we did great. I'd like to thank you for this stream. It, it was... Uh... It was nice and it was a lot of fun. Let's take a look at this game. Uh, yeah. Well, bishop c5 was strange. Yeah, it, it's the computer also says it's strange because we can just take the pawn for free. Now you take another pawn for free. Now you take the rook for free. And uh, now we move the bishop. It's okay. But after bishop f2, yeah. you could have just taken. So taken where? On f2. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there are like three logical moves after that. They are knight e4, knight g4, or queen c5. But all of them are bad. Okay, it's not like all of them are bad, but um, when the position is bad, nothing can help you. <laughs> Even the best move can help you. Because... Isn't well, there a thing where, where it's better not to take it in the Traxler line? Uh, there are some lines, yeah, when you are going directly under the attack. Then, of course... Uh, but um, when it comes to sacrifice, you just have to calculate the lines precisely. Uh, it's not like there are some general uh, rules when you take or when you don't take. And here, since uh, we already want the rook and we take another piece, it's like a lot of uh, material. And af uh, I mean, we can see that after queen c5, we play just d4. Okay, we give this bishop, but we are still a rook up, so it's a huge material advantage. The more, um, the more uh, challenging moves are knight e4 or knight g4 because black brings another piece into the attack. So let's pay attention to that. In case black played knight e4, we just go king g1. Uh, computer also says king f1, but I don't like, I prefer, I think the king on g1 is just uh, safe, um, safer place. And after queen c5, again, we have d4. So it was like, um, uh, why didn't you take, what were you afraid of? Or it's just because of... Oh, um, just because it reminded me of that other position. Yeah, That's but... All. Okay, but when it's the sacrifice, you can't compare the positions. Uh, because, like, uh, in uh, these types of positions, you just have to calculate. You can't, uh, as I mentioned, you can't just say when it's good or bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, I was also just taking time, so I felt like I... 
Yeah, for mm-hmm. them, for example, I mean, we just uh, changed the position a little bit. We moved black ski, uh, black queen from e7 to e5, and then the position is totally different. Black can take, and after king g1, black simply checkmates with queen d4, queen f2. So you see, just a little change, and everything is completely different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, but here the lines were not so complicated, so you were just. Uh, a bit afraid but just for the future mm-hmm. you could spend a little bit more time even after bishop f2 to calculate to feel safe to understand that nothing's happening so just mm-hmm. take and then you uh, after king f1 it's like a little bit it's still winning but uh, yeah bishop g4 could be played bishop e2 bishop e2 queen e2 uh, then the bishop moves somewhere, and then castling, and rook comes to f8. It's actually quite unpleasant to play this position in blitz, because the computer shows plus three, but with the king in the center, it's not so pleasant. I would even mm-hmm. prefer you play black in this, <laughs> in this position. No, seriously, because it's very easy. It's not so easy to defend, and when you have problems with the king, no. it's like. Yeah, I, I can relate to that. I, I really didn't like like it when it is like this crazy. <laughs> yeah, also the knight on h8 is actually... Uh, okay, it's a piece, but it's very likely to be uh, <laughs> lost there. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that knight, its days are numbered. <laughs> mm-hmm. This was the last game for today. Uh, but I would like uh, the viewers uh, to send your feedback about this format. Uh, what do you think about it? Did you like it? Would you like to have more streams of this kind? Uh, because we can organize more, I think. The chat was here. The chat was supporting you. <laughs> the chat liked when we win and when they got some points. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Anit. Uh, thanks to the viewers. I hope you enjoy this new format and uh, see you see you next time have a good evening bye bye <laughs>